Hello and welcome to St. John's Cathedral. My name is Blair Martin. Welcome to our Labyrinth Walk in May, commemorating World Labyrinth Day. Before I begin, I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which I stand today. I acknowledge the Turrbal and Yagara people of the Yugara Nation. I acknowledge their elders, past, present and future. I acknowledge that the land and the waters of and around this land are theirs. Sovereignty was never ceded by fair dealing, treaty or just and honest means. It is, was and always will be their land. And in the dialect of the Yugara people, I say, Wanya, welcome. This is our second in-person Labyrinth Walk that we have been able to do since the pandemic of last year. I am joined today here in St. John's Cathedral by Ananda and Liu, who are regular walkers of our Labyrinth. And I hope that those of you that are watching this live now or at another time on a recording will be able to join with us. We have links that are available for you to download a finger labyrinth to be able to follow the path of the labyrinth when we walk it. There is also the liturgy for today as well that you can follow in your own time. There are other devices that you can use to assist with meditation. I use these Anglican prayer beads to assist me with walking. There is also a handheld labyrinth that you can use with a stylus. You can find these at our cathedral shop, which is also available online through the cathedral web website. Today's labyrinth walk on the second day of May is for World Labyrinth Day. World Labyrinth Day is commemorated on the first Saturday of May. That was yesterday, the 1st of May. So if you were unable yesterday to walk the labyrinth, to be able to be a part of World Labyrinth Day, I hope that you are able to join us today or at a time that is most convenient to you. World Labyrinth Day this year, the theme is walk as one. No matter where you are, here with Ananda, Liu and myself in St. John's Cathedral, or elsewhere. We hope that you will walk as one. With a labyrinth, there is no right or wrong way to walk it. You may follow the path, walking into the center, taking with you cares, concerns, thoughts, spend time in the center, and then leave by the same path, coming back out again, hoping to find some answers, peace, and an answer to the confusion that you may have carried with you into the center. You may simply walk straight to the middle, whatever is best to suit your needs. And as you will see as we walk, we will walk past each other carefully, the same way that you would pass people in the street. One thing we are doing a little different due to COVID-19 practices is we aren't walking the labyrinth in our bare feet, which we normally would. We are wearing socks as part of the COVID-19 precautions that the cathedral is operating under. We hope that you will walk as one with us today. So let us begin. We will say together, Thus says the Lord, stand at the crossroads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way lies and walk in it and find rest for your souls. We'll commence the walk and the time of meditation together. I'm going to ask Ananda and Lou to help me read this, and you may join in as well 
wherever you are. We will read each sentence in a circle. When we come to a full stop, it will pass to the person to our left, and I will ask Ananda to begin. We seek the sacred. It calls to each of us. It is the still small voice echoing in the depths of our being. It is a voice of love that embraces all that we are and without judgment. Here in this space, let your thoughts focus on the sacred. God is here in your mildness. God has been present throughout your life journey. Relax in God's presence. Let God in. Open yourself completely. Be real. Stay in this moment in the gentle embrace of the God who loves you. And listen to the voice of God speaking in the depth of your being. God is here for you. Embrace God. Let us say the prayer of St. Columba of Iona together. My, My dearest, dearest Lord, Lord, be thou a bright flame before me, be thou a guiding star above me, be thou a smooth path beneath me, be thou a kindly shepherd behind me, today and forevermore. Please now walk the labyrinth in your own time and speed. And the musical offering that you will hear as we walk this labyrinth is a piece known by the name of Flugel Sarin, composed by the Icelandic band Sigurós, played here by the Kronos Quartet in a special arrangement made for them.
So let us now close the labyrinth together. Again, I will ask Ananda, Liu, and myself along with you. We will read one line at a time. And in our circle, we will pass to the person on our left. Peace comes from knowing and seeing God in the people around us, in the wonders of creation, and in the life we live. Peace also comes from recognizing the God within. Take a moment to relax in the comfort of the chair before you. From here, you can look back at the pathway you have walked. Reflect for a moment on your labyrinth journey. Moments of letting go. Moments of revelation. Moments of sadness. Moments of joy. Moments of peace. Moments of affirmation. Moments of God. Life is filled with moments of God. See the dove before you flying into the sun. It flies freely surrounded by lights. May your spirit fly free and may God's light surround you. Go in peace and know that you do not walk this path of life alone. Our blessing. If you would say the words in bold type with us here. As I follow you today, Lord, let, let me, your creation, creation discover, discover how, how to, to be creative. creative. As I follow you today, Lord, let, let me, your child, begin to understand how pre precious. As I follow you today, Lord, let, let me, your new saint, learn sacrifice and, and wisdom. wisdom. As I follow you today, Lord, let, Let me, your beloved, accept love from others and give love in return. Let us say the words of the ironic blessing as our grace together. May God bless us and keep us. May God's face be made to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May God's countenance be lifted upon us and give us peace this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you to Ananda and Lou for joining us here at St. John's Cathedral. And thank you to you who have joined us either on the live stream or at another time that is most convenient to you. Our monthly labyrinth walks are held on the first Sunday of the month. We will be again here, restrictions permitting, on that first Sunday in June. That date will be Sunday the 6th of June. At 11.15, we will walk here under the rose window at St. John's Cathedral. If you can join us then in person, we would love to see you. If you can only join us via the online method of the live stream or at a time of your convenience and choosing via the recording, we look forward to seeing you then. All the labyrinth walks for the last year that were all pre-recorded here in the cathedral will be available on our YouTube channel for you to view. Peace be with you.